Hey guys, I'm Buck Weezer. We're putting the do into do it yourself. How about another wheel horse video? This is the 416.8. It's got the Kohler 16 horsepower motor. And the problem that I want to try to solve is after you've not used it for a while, sat for a couple of weeks perhaps, it takes a long time to crank before it, it finally starts. And I don't know if it's maybe just the fuel pump's a little bit weak. It's a mechanically driven fuel pump. Maybe it just takes a lot of cranking to actually get that pump pumping and get the carburetor primed properly to start. Maybe that's just all it is. Um, I thought maybe there's a crack in the fuel line somewhere so the pump is sucking a little bit of air. But I don't think that's the case because if that were the case then we'd be leaking fuel at some point. So we're running out of daylight but maybe I could just introduce you to the problem now. Let's see if we can get it fired up. This has not run in I'm going to say three or four weeks because I've been working on the other one, the, the 520 hydrostatic. The other thing I have with this is there's a loose connection at the key switch, so I'm going to use a jumper wire. Let me just uh, pop the hood. And you can turn the key switch to, 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 uh, to start, but that's the wire that's loose. So what I want to just what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump, use a jumper wire and go from the solenoid to the positive side of the battery. So clipping right onto here. Now by touching this to the uh, positive terminal or on the battery, that, that should start. Now I've got the key in the run position. Uh, got the choke out, the throttle up. So, again, it's been several weeks, at least three or four weeks, I'm going to say. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Let's just see how long it takes till this thing will cooperate and fire up for us. Yeah, so nothing yet. Let's try it again. Oh, we had it. Now push the choke, uh, turn the choke off, and it died. Let's try it again. So what was that, about 20 seconds of crank time? Maybe I'm just impatient, but that just seems too long. Let's try it again. So, as you can see, it starts and it starts okay. It just takes a long time of cranking. 
I don't know if it's worth doing anything about it. One idea I had was maybe uh, swapping over to a electric fuel pump. Uh, one guy had the idea of just using an electric fuel pump when the key is in the start position. So it's not in the run position, let the mechanical pump do that, but just use the, the electric pump in the start position and maybe that'll get fuel to the carburetor a little faster. Love to know what you think. Got any ideas? Have you dealt with this before? Maybe I should just be patient and leave well enough alone. All right, guys, call me crazy, but I'm gonna try this. So I bought this electric fuel pump on Amazon. Here he is. It's $13.99 plus tax. And this guy uh, is 12 volts and pulls 1.5 amps or less of power. It has the hose size is 5 16 inch. So I don't know, we probably got quarter inch fuel lines on that tractor so that might be an issue but maybe if I soften up the rubber hoses I can get it on there it's uh, 5.9 pound PSI that's the output and it can do a hundred liters per hour and again I want to just connect this to the uh, you know, I just only want to energize it while the engine's cranking. And so that leaves me with, that's easy enough to do. I'll, I'll hook that up to the, you know, at the starter solenoid. So it's only going to be energized while cranking. But my question is, once it's de-energized and we're just pulling off of the existing mechanical fuel pump, will that mechanical fuel pump be able to pull uh, fuel through this? Or will this be an obstruction? I uh, I know this is crazy, but when I just put my mouth here and suck, I can suck air through the uh, through the through the pump. So I really think it should still this should still have fuel flow through that pump, even when it's de-energized. So it's just an experiment. If it doesn't work, I'll just get rid of it and. Just deal with that long crank time but I thought it would be fun to try it out so let me get out there to the tractor see about installing this and uh, and then we'll give it a shot see what happens okay so here we are I've got the I've got the electric fuel pump up right here mounted it was actually quite easy because I used these two existing bolts that were already there and I was able to just mount it right there fuel line coming in from the tank and then coming out of the pump I ran a new line goes under and around and up to our our mechanical fuel pump that's mounted on the uh, engine block I um, back here I relocated our fuel filter to right here I wanted it to be in a place where the fuel would be pulled through it not pushed through it Unfortunately, it seems while working back here, our our grommet here at the base of the fuel tank has uh, started to leak. I guess that's what happens when you're messing around with old equipment. There's always something else that breaks while you're trying to fix one thing. So I'll have to take care of that. I, t I tested out the fuel pump. Just took 12 volts to it directly and within about three seconds I had fuel up to this point at the pump. I had disconnected this and just ran it into a bucket. And uh, that was about three seconds of run time. And that's of course with the pump empty, lines are empty. So from empty to up to that fuel pump, it's about three seconds of run time. Now I hook wired this up so that it will only operate when the key is in the crank position, the start position. So I tied the positive right here to the base of the uh, starter solenoid. So this is only energized when cranking the engine. 
and I connected the negative to the other negative post over there. Um, so I'm ready to test this out and I want to see two things. First, will, will it start sooner, get fuel sooner and start sooner than the 15 or 20 seconds of crank time it took previously? And then once started and we de-energize that pump, will the mechanical fuel pump continue to be able to pull fuel through the through the old pump that's de-energized. Hope that makes sense. Once again, I'm going to use a red jumper wire like I did previously, directly from the battery to the starter solenoid. And I told you the reason for that. There's something wrong with the key switch. It's actually not the key switch, it's the connector behind the key switch. And one of the terminals in there is broken. So it doesn't make good contact bringing power to the starter solenoid. So for now, we're just going to, uh, we're just going to uh, use a little jumper wire directly from the battery to the starter solenoid like, like we did previously. All right, keep your fingers crossed. Well, I'm gonna call that a success. I, I promise you the engine was stone cold. I had not started it previously. It cranked for what, three seconds and it was fired up. And uh, that's not how it was previously. So I feel like this might really be a, a, good, a good idea. And I then uh, drove it around for 10 or 15 minutes, did some, some mowing ran perfectly. So once started, the mechanical fuel pump is working just fine. Um, 
the electric fuel pump is just to give us a little uh, boost at startup, um, cold startup especially, um, cut down on some of that long crank time. And uh, it, it was a $14 fix. Um, yeah, so that's, that's fun. Of course, now I gotta get a, a grommet for the, uh, the gas tank outlet, but <clears throat> there's always something. I'd love to hear your comments, questions, your thoughts, and uh, um, in the discussion below, I really appreciate you watching the video, and I will look forward to seeing you all on our next one. Bye-bye.